Hi, I'm meteorologist Tom Atkins, another edition of Weather Academy, and we're going to look back uh, for those of you who remember the 70s. Uh, this is from 1978. It's called the Great Lakes Blizzard. So because we're in the middle of winter, uh, this was an extreme example of winter weather. What, uh, 45 years ago? Intense low pressure area. Eastern Michigan, old-fashioned weather map, all kinds of fronts around it. These black lines are the isobars. The more you bunch them together, the stronger the wind is. And this was a true blizzard. You know, a true blizzard is not a snow squall like we see around here. For a true blizzard, you need temperatures 20 degrees or lower, wind speeds 35 miles per hour or higher, and uh, snow falling at at least uh, a quarter mile visibility for three hours in a row at least. And that's what happened January 24th to 27th, 1978. So let's go back in time. Got some great pictures. These are uh, from some of my former students in the meteorology class I teach at Penn State Barron when they were kids. So this is from a while ago, January 9th, 1978. This was the lowest barometric pressure reading ever in Erie, Pennsylvania. 28.66 inches of mercury. And if you know anything about the barometric pressure, well, that's like uh, a small hurricane right there, that low of an air pressure. So cold winters of the late 1970s goes on. In 1977, 78, Erie set its record snowfall for entire winter season. It was 142.8 inches at Erie International Airport. Now that record stood until 2000, 2001. So about a 22 year old record before it was broken. And there were a lot of problems in that winter removing snow. Let's talk about the cold with the snow from the late 1970s. This was the coldest Erie low temperature set. It was set February 11th, 1979, 17 degrees below zero. Now this is Erie, this is the Lakeshore, this is Erie International Airport. This is not taking into effect the snow belt and the normally colder locations. And that record stayed until 1994, January 19th of 1994, when we went down to 18 degrees below zero. One more, speaking of cold in the late 70s, the coldest eerie month on record, January 1977, the average temperature for the entire month, 12 and a half degrees. And this was the first year that President Jimmy Carter was inaugurated into office and he closed a lot of the schools in the Northeastern United States for several days to conserve energy from heating the building. So that's the blizzard out here. Now, at that time, in the late 70s, I was out here in northern New Jersey, and they had their own blizzard a couple weeks later, February 5th to 6th, 1978. It was the Northeast blizzard of 78, and I remember having two days off from school because if you look at the legend here, 10 to 20 inches of snow is the light blue. That's what I had at my house in New Jersey where I was growing up. But if you can see these places like in the Poconos and up here in Rhode Island and uh, southeastern Massachusetts, they had amounts of 20 to 30 and the pink dots over 30 inches of snow. A very impressive blizzard at that point. Well, that is another thing that can happen. You can find the good side of snow. So back at home, here's a snowman that was built in the Erie area in 1977. And, and look at the girl here. Look, judge the height here as we take away the bar. That is huge. Lots of snow in the late 70s, right here in the Lower Lakes region, as well as in the Eastern United States. Thanks for letting me flash back with you. We'll be back next week with another Weather Academy.